Ah, anunciaron This is the Adventures of Lollipop Man. This is part 3 of our Rigify tutorial. Today we're gonna pick it up from where we left off last time and then fix all of the issues that you're gonna see that will arise, which are pretty minor if you ask me, for a character that could easily be a secondary character. That's it. Just remember to like and subscribe and let's get on it. We got the character, we're gonna grab our meta rig, our meta rig that we have created, I'm gonna hide it. Now we're going to select every object here and we're going to shift click finally the armature and control P. Uh, we got a bunch of options, so basically the first three is not what we're looking for because it will parent to the armature as an object. Then we have armature deform, which will create an armature modifier into each object and we'll connect it to it, but it won't create any weights, it won't do anything. Then all of these are variations of that, basically it will create the groups for each bone, but it won't assign the weights. It will weight it with envelopes, which is another type of weighting, and then we want automatic weights, which is the one that that's gonna skin it really and then we have these two other options which is bone and bone relative no idea how bone relative works but bone basically if i want to parent an object particularly to a bone i do that one and it's just parenting directly to the bone so our option is with automatic weights <laughs> Now we're gonna go into post mode and we're gonna check out first what we have, right? I'm gonna hide these guys here, hide this panel. Also, I uh, wanna note that now at the bottom of the screen, we have these three little things which are, represent the three buttons of the mouse that I'm using. And whatever key that I press will appear there. I'll still sing them because I do that, but yeah, you get the idea. So, you'll see that selecting the hand, now we got the arm that we can move around. Let's try the fingers. It's pretty decent with this, to be honest. Even though I, you can see that the bones are bending the wrong way. So it's just supposed to work that if you scale it down, it bends the, that way. But this one, it's all the other way around. So we'll fix that in a minute. So we'll just make a kind of like a quick list of it's not working. So those three fingers are working. This one, not so much, right? So as you can see, the deformation is not amazing, but it's already working. You can do something like this. Then the feet. Yeah, we got that. We have that. You see, there's no issue with the leg from the other side. Things are right next to it. Yeah, that's okay. How's our axis looking? Um, I'm just gonna grab this guy here. The loco. Let me put my axis. guy okay why is pointing backwards no idea why but that's i guess good enough as long as it's not in a diagonal way yeah, this can work see if i put the values there yeah you can see we're moving forwards and backwards the foot with just one value which means that we didn't, don't need to counter animate really and make him walk and then obviously the face and the head is not gonna be amazing so we move the head and the head sort of works i think the pivot in the in the head is not great it's kind of slow because i have uh, some subdivisions so i'm just gonna turn um simplify on which is gonna make this much faster so i turn simplify and put maybe one subdivision and that's already more responsive so yeah, got this guy, if I put it down to zero, it's real high, definitely. That might be the, the pivot point of the head, might be in, uh, not really where we want it, so we might shift it now. Let's see, let's do the jaw. Oh. So there's two things to see here. One of them is that the teeth are completely wrong, for sure. But the fact that you can open the jaw and the lower controllers and bones are not really touching anything from the top and vice versa. Like they're not dragging each other like a Neo on uh, the Matrix. This is pretty decent. Like it's a good starting. I think we're going to have issues, which is always the case. As you can see, I can move the, the eyebrow and then I grab a lot of the top part of the the head same thing is going to happen with the lids these are our more complex areas obviously it's grabbing the eyes which it shouldn't so we're going to fix that but on top of that we get the fact that it doesn't really form very well the eyelids we're going to get to that 
I think those are the main areas that we usually could have issues. You get the body, yeah, you can get it to do some kind of nice dance. And there's another issue that I wanted to bring up is that, as you can see, the controller of the hand is not aligned to it. And when you bend it, it's still bending that way, it's bending this way. Um, and we know that the, the elbow in this case is pointing back. So we want to fix all of these things and it's really easy to do. Let's fix our problem. To do this, instead of going all crazy, we're just gonna hide our rig, go back to the object, hide our rig, gonna turn on our metal rig, and we're gonna make sure that the alignment of, of the bones is more or less all right. So for that, I'm gonna go and turn on display axis. And you can see that even though they're not straight in line and they're beautiful, they should be working because they're all pointing towards the same side. They're all on the X axis axis and so what we'll do now is we're gonna make sure that this guy more or less is there but we're going to go to post mode select the main one the one that actually has the property the rigify type and we're going to change the bend rotation axis to manual x and i'm going to do this for all of these little guys here and then i'm going to ship click the guys on the other side because this won't transfer via the mirroring and then I'm going to do pen protection axis X and then right click that property and then copy to select. This thing doesn't work in every single property, but in the ones that it, it does, it's a godsend. And then let's see if I select these guys. Okay, and the mirror was on, so it should be all fine. Here, we'll, we're going to do exactly the same because I don't see it very misaligned, right? So we're going to go again, post mode and rotation X and then rotation X. What else do we need to fix from the bones? Right now, we said also that we wanted to fix the head. So we're gonna grab this bone, go to edit mode, bring it down. Gonna make sure we're going on the local X, somewhere over here. So the neck is a little bit more straight. Good thing is like we can actually sort of experiment and then change then and then go on. So it should be all fine. So let's go back to object mode. And here's the key. We'll turn on our rig, our original rig that we had created previously. With the meta rig, we select our meta rig again. We'll go into meta rig and we'll find rigify button, generate rig. And what you're going to see that it does, look at the advanced options. It will target the same rig, so it will grab it and replace it. Generating the rig, generating the rig, generating the rig, boom. And now I'm gonna hide again my meta rig, grab this guy here, and as I go into post mode, you'll see that now if I grab all these guys together and do individual origins and scale them, they do it to the right way. Also, you can notice that now the palm controller is actually aligned to the hand. And so if I grab this guy, then it bends the way we wanted it to. This guy still works. I haven't touched this. And then let's see how this guy uh, more or less works. It's a little bit better, I would say. So now that we have that out of the way, let's fix some weights. So one more time. I recorded this like seven times already. Uh, and it does work. Either the audio doesn't work, either the... I don't know what it is. Uh, it just keep doing it wrong. Anyways, in the next episode, we're going to talk a little bit about weight painting. Leave me your questions in the comments down below. If you want to support this channel, there's my Gumroad page, there's my affiliate links, and there's some cool t-shirts that you can get as well. Remember to like and subscribe. See you next time. Ciao.